Good morning, everybody. This is Daniel with Peace and Plenty Farms. It's a good, uh, crisp, cold, early fall morning. So we uh, set up the uh, incubator. I, uh, in the last video, I cut the uh, plexiglass panels. They were $100 just for one sheet, 36 inches by 6 foot. But um, got that cut. I'm keeping the temperature at 90 right around 90 in there that little electric heater has a thermostat on it. it it adjusts and what i do every morning is just come out here and uh, check the humidity mainly and then uh, move on to the other projects for today so i'm gonna get this checked and then i'm gonna show you a gate that we're gonna install today thanks for coming along and let's grow together there is so much to get used to when you're adding animals and moving things around on the farm and Getting organized and sticking to a system is going to be important here. So I guess last night when I came through here, I forgot to um, lock the gate. I just usually just pull it around here and hook it on this screw. But I must have forgotten I came down this morning and the gate was wide open. Typically, normally, the sheep are out grazing by now. But because the gate was open, you can see they got into the feed. Fortunately, they didn't get into the sweet feed too much, but they're not getting any feed today. They've had their fill. They're laying out there fat and sassy and happy, and they don't want to go graze now. So I think what I'm going to do is I rounded up two. Um, I've been cleaning this morning for about an hour, hour and a half. I rounded up two uh, trash cans, and what I'm going to do is put their feed in there with a bungee cord on it, and I'm gonna put it on the other side of this gate so it'll be out of, out of the uh, garage area and they'll feed them from over there. But it's clear, cleared out and cleaned up through here, getting loaded up to go out and hang this gate right here. I found this gate in the trash. Somebody had um, driven over it with a tire or something, but it'll work for me. I'm gonna cut, uh, cut this off and cut the top of it off and I'll use these um, pipe straps and just strap it to the 4x4 over there and I'll show you what I'm doing when I get over there. These guys are looking at me with a supposed somber sad look but we know better. They were into the feed and I think their little tummies are bothering them. So no feed for you today. They won't go out and graze. They just went back into where the feed is. Okay, let's wrap it up for today. Now they think they're gonna get fed tonight. See how in the evening I normally put some feed out for them, but I'm worried they've had too much. They know, they're looking around the corner. So what I did is I put it inside. I found these um, galvanized uh, trash cans and uh, I put a strap across the sweet feed one. And I keep the um, bag, the uh, bag is folded over. So even if they get the lid off, they, they can't, uh, I've noticed they can't get in there if the bag is folded over. So they're not getting any tonight. I noticed when I was walking out here earlier that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this lock on even though they shouldn't. <laughs> you guys. Six of them. What do you think? What do you think of this? You're on YouTube. Put on your best perfume. Okay. The pigs want to be fed. I'll have to feed them on my way back around. But um, I noticed that uh, their manure isn't like it, scat or whatever you want to call it, isn't like it's supposed to be. So. That tells me that their little digestive system, supposed to look like this, is not uh, doing so well. I don't know how this chicken got on this side, but she's not supposed to be over here. I'm trying to keep them on the other side of the fence, but she must have 
there is an opening there is an opening right there but I think she may have crossed over and now she's forgot how to get back back over but what I did today the main project that we worked on this is all wet through here when I get my tractor I'm gonna grade this down so this won't back up into a mess it's one of the projects waiting for the tractor to grade all of this area this is all messed up right through here but I got the net I got the net all put in real tight across there and now I've got this gate propped open with a block so that the goats can go ahead and come in here and I tied one bucket here for Sophie and one bucket over there for Hannah and now we can feed them from the outside this is the, like a funnel this is the funnel but the food just comes right down here and drops right into the bucket right there you guys aren't supposed to be in here there's nothing in here for you come on come on let's keep you all out of here come on come on stay out this is the goats area but what i did is i stretched this fence right here and uh, put this gate in and just just chained it just put a simple chain on it i put this uh chicken wire on it so the chickens won't climb through it they've been coming over here and hopping up on this uh hay and uh, laying their eggs way back there in the back so i put a stop to that so now the goats like to come in before it gets dark and the chickens they tend to go in right as it's getting dark so and the goats freak out if this door is closed so this will let them come in let the chickens come in on their own and then i can come out i can uh, feed here's the goats feed and i keep that tied up real tight because we don't want the sheep getting into that it's got copper in it and then uh here's where we're going to start feeding the uh, goats right here this little funnel let's put it right there and drop the feed right in and uh this is the can we'll use to scoop the feed and then that way each goat you don't have to you know fight with them in there trying to feed them and this is the section that i want to buy three more four more panels for i'll start right here on this corner and come out with three panels right down through here three three panels this way and then one panel going back so i'll have a 30 by 10 enclosure right there for the next um, villains that come in here. <laughs> the sheep are sure they're getting fed tonight. They're looking at me. They might not get fed tomorrow night. Until I see normal manure coming out of them, they're not getting any more feed. They got into that sweet feed and I normally just give them a tiny, tiny sampling of that sweet feed. So they're really, they're really gonna have some adjusting to go through these next couple of days. I'm gonna take you over here and show you something in the rabbits and we're gonna wrap it up for today one of the big projects for tomorrow is to close off that silky area that silky coop area so that the uh, rabbits won't get in there you can probably see one of the rabbits is right there I want the rabbits to go into what these are called FEMA camps but I want the rabbits to go in here so I'm gonna put a pipe in tomorrow that the rabbits can go through but the chickens uh, won't and that way the rabbits will have water and feed over there. And um, the silkies will have their own over here. It'll be the, the diving board idea where we can see if that, the chickens have to hop up there to get in. We'll see if that works. And I'm gonna let them free range a little bit. So it's gonna be a combination of the two. And then this area was, is uh, where we feed the morans, the copper morans. And we keep uh, small families birthing families of uh, rabbits for the colony right in this section and this gutter takes care of uh, watering them my baby's mowing the grass but I want to take you over here and show you what I've got going on with the uh, rabbits she helped me today get everybody situated and what we did is we, we wrote down the date that the male A that we put uh, them together 
and then her due date is in blue so the 17th today's the 16th i think so these three this is the 17th also this is male b and then this is male c do the 17th also so these three we went ahead today she helped me get these um pads in here these heating pads i've got them plugged in so they're nice and warm and i had to switch it out i had one by one wire in here just like this this one by one does not work i don't know what i was thinking uh, i put these uh, replaced several of these bottoms on these uh, cages uh, they pull right out and i did it with one by one and it should be half by one and if she happens to give birth out here the babies will actually go right through this one by one and, and they'll be on the ground so i've got to get this switched out so at least the babies will still be in the cage when i find them and sometimes i can throw them in there and um, we can save them but if she rejects them we now have little tiny kitten uh, bottles and feed uh, milk that we can mix up and feed them we're going to try to start saving them now we used to just throw them out because we just didn't have the facility the time or the facilities to take care of it but now we're set up to do it so this is another one do the 17th 17th b and we've got a fresh heating pad in there for her it's turned on it's really nice right now it's about 60 or 70 but it's going to be uh, 30 tomorrow night and 20 something the next night so we've got those ready for them clean as a whistle they look like little hospital beds so we've got those three that are due uh, in the next couple of days. And then over here, the way we, we wrote this one out is, uh, she was bred on 929 with male B, but she did, it didn't take, we got nothing. So male D on 1116. And uh, this one here, she had three, but it didn't take, male C. So we put male D in there on the 16th, due on the 8th same situation here this one here did not take I guess I'm not really don't really remember we didn't write it down but uh, male D was put in on 11 3 so she's due 12 1 28 days now these three here we've got the heating pads in there for them and I've got the cords and the plugs and all rigged up and their due dates are 11 27 thanks right around Thanksgiving 11 23 and uh, you can see the heating pads in there and this is uh, 11, 19, two or three days away. This little mama, she's doing fine. She had two. She had two little ones there. I want to thank everybody for watching. And keep in mind, it's about the harvest.